What's good, Fluffle? It's time for Boom Boom 15, part two. So, um, had technical difficulties on the first one that we already watched with enthusiasm. Here's an enthusiastic clip that, um, is not muted right in between us. See how happy we are watching that for the first time? Yeah. Yeah. I did nothing to that audio. That was all um, technical difficulties. So here we are watching it again. Thanks, OBS. Yeah. Recap. Um, Chashiro got Marine to like him. The Killer Robo got upgrades. And here we are. At the museum. At the museum. Um, fossils. Dun, dun, dun. That is... Fossils. Dun, dun, dun. Dinosaurs. That was a joke for a very specific audience. Please tell me someone got that down in the comment. Anyway, yes. Um, the Sand Seeders are going to ignition a fossil auto monster, but it seems non-violent. And it is up to our pro 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 Reese. Wow. Pro Reese officer. Yeah, that was gonna come out on court. What seems to be the officer problem? <laughs> Thank you for the recovery. And Joe, not this one, wants to protect it, of course. Will of he course. be able to manage it? Yes. Will this be a happy episode? No. Do I look forward to watching this one particular episode twice? Nah, not really. It was a good episode. But it hits you in the feels, man. In the feels, man. Why get hit in the feels twice in the same week? I'm realizing I stare at the side of your head while you talk. You do. Not at the camera. That's where the fluffle is. I'm making eye contact with the person I'm conversating with. I'm used to it. I mean, you guys are there, but you're not... there. He'll get used to it. You thought he would have already got used to it with Zenkaijus, but nope, here we are. Without further ado... Damn it. You're not wearing the thing. Uh, also, you weren't fully in frame. Take... Two, we and do a half. this with less. Yeah, we do this with less effort. Boom, boom. Let's let's hop in. It's like you guys have never seen billboards before. Not moving, probably. We don't know what sort of technology they have on whatever planet they're from. They have interstellar space travel. Shut up! Now, Yarakar has explained that they didn't have dinosaurs. Yeah. Yeah, he, he is a talking car. It would be hard for them to have giant lizards. They probably had, like... Model T people. Big heads. Look at their heads. Not their uniforms. How do you not notice that fat ass head? Okay, she was hiding in the corner. That's fair. But he was not. No. Remove brace. Yeah, they didn't even follow instructions. What if he came out still, like, locked in the box? That'd be hilarious. It would. Fossil monster! And once again, yeah, seeing that for the first time, that's very intimidating. The male sand seeder. Deco Torade. I don't know what that translates to because I didn't have enough time. But I, 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 this is episode, like, 15. Torade. Yeah, I'm just now cataloging his name. I catalog Itasha and Yarukar immediately. Boom, boom, boom! Kill, kill, kill! Vroom! Oh, no! Oh, and once no. again, yeah, they've never spun off like that before. That was really cool. No! Wait. No. I have to remember where the camera is and over you guys and out He's the door. He's got two monitors now. Yes. 
God, that's a Beetleborg skit. Mm. Incredibly powerful legs, huh? That'll be important for later. I don't think you needed to specify rear legs when it only had two legs. Those, those front ones were clearly arms. Pretty skyline. Cheshiro smart, being on top of a building. Joe searching the streets like a police officer would. Mira's talking to people because she's the friendly one. Oh, this, I forgot about this. I'm a little girl, and that is the closest thing I've ever seen to a dinosaur. Mira, oh cool, dinosaur! Fucking peacock. <laughs> Technically. Yeah. Paleontologists be like, hmm, a little too late. <laughs> Who's that Pokemon? It's Simiosaur Auto Monster! Fossil! Yes. Why are you yelling at his phone? <laughs> Why did Joe have it immediately on intercom mode? Maybe there is no volume down because it's always cranked up. That makes sense. And it's his pet. And now that cements a relationship that no one is going to forget. No one. I foregore. I wish I could foregore. Genbo walking up with the mess lead. Boy, come here. Keys. They literally did that just for the preview. Yeah. Yeah, they did. Let's, let's mislead everyone by having everyone think that Genbo wants to beat the fuck out of Joe for hiding the auto monster. When really, he just has a pair of keys in his hand and is being dramatic for no reason. He doesn't do that, usually. <laughs> he's being ominous here for no reason, too. Yeah. He's always the ominous one. The backs? You called it a pet. That was a translation error. What? You didn't see him call the bags backs. Oh. Mm. No, it's not. <laughs> I want a cream pop. You could have just told them. You didn't have to hide it. Well, for starters, he's eating yes. food like a person, but with the appetite of a dog at my warehouse table. He was so fucking happy to see me. Are you sure you want to let Joe bond with it? I'm sure about everything, because being sure is cranked up. I see. Just over in the corner. Ball. Playing with a ball. 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 Literally a that dog with yeah. thumbs. Yeah. Why is dog upright? <laughs> Werewolf. Werewolf. Where? Oh my god, I just realized. An upright dog that is kind of a monster and only says one word? That's a damn Pokemon. Look, guys, this is the second time you know this, so you've been warned, and I've been warned because this is the second time I'm not bonding with this damn thing again. Don't worry, if you watched the next episode preview on the last episode, you saw the part where they were giant and punching him. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And then he named it. That's how the Yakuza shows up on your front door. 
That's how they do that. <laughs> Why cleaning supplies? Kaseki! Just once I want to see De Deco fight. See what he's got outside of the killer robo. See him bash someone with that spike phone he's got. Yeah, at least once. See, he even got kicked by Joe there, but did he swing back? No, he got pushed off screen. Uh, oh my god, it's the Roman candle. Time for my tweak. And you can't begin the experiment. That's Bill's catchphrase. Fucking monster. Are you talking to Silky or Cannonboard? Cannonboard. Okay. The light is gone from his eyes. Slap, 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 slap. Slap, taking no prisoners. The only reason you're standing it up against it because you're red. Slap. Maybe you should act like real Hishilians. Maybe they should run. I remember, I made a joke about Americans and pissing off the police. <laughs> It's not gonna do that, man. This has become a normal fight, and you know what you must do. Get kicked in the head? Yup. Kick so hard, you de-henchin. De-boon. De-change. De-change. Denshin. No. Yeah. Right. And then this. Without intervention. He, he does those. I mean, you can count Cannonboard's tweaks as him intervening, but outside of that, there was no Gyasili, no Yarukar, no Highway, no Boom Cars Deploy, no I Bill also Gogo. remember you said, that's not your dinosaur anymore, that is Cannonboard's. Yeah. Yeah, that's the unfortunate truth. So what do you mean you didn't do that on purpose? Yeah. Uh, probably too big to even hear you at this point. Come on, Joe. You gotta help people. I know you adopted a new weird pet, but it's only been 24 hours. It's to protect the people. Hmm. I didn't notice the first time around that it was Joe driving Boondario, that's why Boondario was talking to him. Yeah. Well, Joe proved he wasn't violent. Until he was, and we can all see with our eyeballs clear as day that something happened. So, Joe was right, and we're forced to put it down. We're all sad. We didn't bond with it, but we understand. This sucks. Oh yeah, I remember at one point mentioning uh, fossil fighters for the DS. <laughs> What about Ultimate, uh, Kaiju Rancher? Oh yeah, Ultra Kaiju Monster Rancher, now available on Nintendo Switch. <laughs> that is not your dinosaur, also that hat is adorable. Mmm. Toku and its grand dramas at sunset. Press the button. My finger is on the button. Not now. Galvanize! No! Don't stole back! Tears coming out the spokes. I told you I wasn't bonding with this thing twice. I talked shit last time too to protect myself. Now you're just beating me. <laughs> I 
I also said last time he didn't need to explode a third time. But there was four. There was four. No, the first one was just him hitting the floor. <laughs> Imagine being a superhero, a police officer, and a delivery man. And your schedules overlap. That kid knows it. Yeah, exactly. What 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 his dad said. He knows his stuff. <laughs> it's okay, officer. Go eat some curry and some cream puffs and chill out back at the house. <laughs> Right. Right. Burple. Six is here and he has his own formula Boondario. And he's very detailed. And he has gold accents. And how are you already a boom boomer if it looks like Taya hates you? I did just pose a good question that I'm not sure if you guys heard in the next time. Um how did this guy become a boom boomer? Because in one of the clips of the next preview, he's aiming his weapon at Taya, and Taya is aiming one back right at him. I don't know. They didn't look to be too serious about it. Hmm. They were in the fucking base. You think it was like a ri a burning rivalry? Type hey, thing? it's you, shit ass. Hey, fucker. How's it going? But then why has Taya never mentioned this mysterious sixth member to anyone else before? Has he been on secret missions or something? Why show up now? When has Taya ever mentioned important things before they came up? Shit, you right. I think that was a plot point earlier in the series, is yeah. that Taya just doesn't mention things. Several freaking times. Okay, so, Taya- Who the hell was that? Oh, that's Gemba. He's procurement. And you didn't tell me! <laughs> uh, so, it seems like next time we finally get to meet Boone Violet, and he seems like a speedster. That's just what they're gonna need if they're gonna fulfill Taya's dream, right? So maybe Taya had been recruited him for the dream, and like we've, like you've said, he just didn't tell anyone, and he's been there the whole time. Who knows? He might have even technically been the second Boom Boomer, and we just didn't know he existed, so he's technically the sixth. We'll have to see next time. In the meantime. If you enjoyed this react as much as we enjoyed making it, be sure to cast that like and that comment on the video as well as subscribing to the channel for more. And support your local museums. And support your local museums. They got dinosaur bones. Just don't take them home and try to feed them. <laughs> it's not how that works. And if you do do that and it eats the food you've given it, that's not normal. <laughs> Then you call a priest. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Sada bye. Yes, we're still doing sada bye. <laughs>